Hello friends, my name is Michelle and welcome to Reading Rush Day 2. Yesterday I spent a good chunk of time editing. I actually didn't get done editing until like 15 past midnight. And after that, I started Sock Hill Girls. This is the chunkiest book on my TBR, page-wise. And I am only on page 15. Sadly, then I was too tired because yesterday was too productive. So I was too tired after that. I kind of just like dozed off and then today i had to go to work so no reading got done today so far and it's again past 4 p.m but that's just kind of how life happens when you're an adult and have a job let me walk you through the plan for the rest of today the rest of today needs to be filled up by taking more footage um because i have zero then i also need to do the bookstagram challenge which, th which today is to cosplay a book character i think i know what i want to do but i don't know if i will be capable of doing it so i guess we shall see how that works out i will take you with me again and then i also need to read i think i don't think i can do like the entire book but at least get to like page like 370 or something that would be ideal or something like that and what else do i need to do today i don't know i guess just have a coffee and sit the fuck down oh i also need to finish and the ocean was our sky the book is downstairs so i cannot hold it up for you but i also need to finish it outside oh i also want to do a book haul so that will be coming up and I don't think I'm going to do the tag that the Reading Rush posted yesterday. I think I'm going to leave that for tomorrow. Unless I have like zero footage, in which case I will do the tag today. <laughs> but if not, I will do that tomorrow. And tomorrow should be a more exciting day because tomorrow is a home office day. Which means that I can read in between my breaks. And I can also do other fun shit. Like tomorrow I really want to get to doing the first book you touch thing. I have like a very cute idea for it which I hope will work out, but I will take you along with take you along with me. But that's like going way too far into the future. We need to deal with today so far and we need to read in the book downstairs. So I'm gonna get to all the things and I will update you as we go. Okay, so like I said, I want to do a small book haul and I don't want to do it in a way that everyone does it. So come along with me for the writers I show you these books. So the first book I got was Under the Udala Trees, which is gosh darn cute. I got this for no other reason other than I heard some black booktubers speak about it and kind of call it like the modern lesbian classic. I know it starts in the 60s during, Nigeria, during the Nigerian Civil War, so I'm very excited for this one. She's super pretty and she's not that long, so hopefully I will get to her soon, but really excited about this one. The next one I have is Red at the Bone by Jacqueline Woodson. I have no idea what this is about, actually. I just know that Jacqueline Woodson usually writes in verse, which, like, is, hasn't been my jam until recently. And I wanted to, pick, like, pick up something that's prose, and this is prose. And I know that Jacqueline Woodson is queer. She might be a lesbian, I'm not sure. But this book is very pretty, and I'm very excited to read it. Also very short, so you might see... This book make an appearance again this week hopefully maybe i don't know fingers crossed and the last book i got is the vanishing hall by, Br by Britt bennett which i have like a very vague idea of what this is about um all i know is it also has a very pretty cover but i think this has a trans main protagonist and i think it's about twins and i think that one of them or both of them are white passing because they come from that kind of community that is all i know i have a very vague idea on what it is actually about but it is gorgeous and if i love this book um i'm gonna get the mothers which is showcased right here which has a matching cover which i live for with my entire soul I just spent like a good hour on these very shoddy horns. It is not that funny or fun to make horns out of your goddamn hair. But what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to do like... If Jude from The Cruel Prince was a fucking messy hoe. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Also, it's pouring outside, but I'm gonna try my best and... Hi. Okay, anywho, I'm gonna try and do some makeup now, so... We'll see what happens and then like take some pictures or something, I don't even know. Okay, hi, so it happened. Um, this is the picture I ended up taking, it's up here. I'm just making my way upstairs so I can take off this very ridiculous makeup that looks like so bad in the inside place. But actually on the outside, 
Also, I put flowers in my little horns. So, there's that. Anyway, I'm just making my way upstairs. I just had to stop because there was suddenly very good light to show you what a mess I made on my face. This is better lighting. This is better lighting. Anyway, those are my horns. I did it. Um, now, I'm gonna get changed because somehow, by the way, this is like the dress. It like droops all the way to the floor and has like an open back. Never worn it, was supposed to wear it for my graduation, but then it was 35 degrees and it was not possible to do that to myself. Anyway, anywho, I'm gonna... See? It looks kind of better in natural light. Um, just the highlighter gives me a chubby cheek, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get changed and I'm gonna sit down <laughs> and finally read something. I'm gonna go and try and finish... Um, what's your name? And the ocean was our sky. Also, it's not thundering, so I can actually go sit outside. So everything is great right now. Let me speak to you before I lose all daylight. Um, I just spent some time outside and I finished Any Ocean Was Our Sky. I had some numbers of pages left in this book. I'm not gonna attempt math today because yesterday didn't go well, so I'm gonna use a calculator today later. But anyway, I read this. I think I'm gonna give it three stars. This is essentially about a group of whales who are hunting this like myth of a man called Toby Wick. And they capture this human person, human male, and tr try to interrogate him to figure out where Toby Wick is moving. And it's essentially like this whole discussion about men always hunting whales and whales always hunting men. And I think what it tried to do was talk about the cycle of violence and how our own worship and worship makes... Um, devils out of our idols and gives them power that they don't necessarily even wield but i think it did it very obviously but also on a very surface level and i kind of going into this had like really big expectations because the illustrations are really gorgeous and i think they really add a lot to the story so like i would check it out even if that's like something that interests you but i guess i kind of um, was looking for a deeper emotion to seep through from this book and that didn't necessarily happen it kind of just like i said felt like kind of surface level but i will say that this didn't feel like patrick ness's usual writing i think it was a lot more flowery and there, there were lines that i really enjoyed and i thought that the writing in this was like exceptionally beautiful especially for patrick ness like i enjoy his writing but i think it's very rooted in reality and realistic descriptions even in things like more than this which has like a sci-fi take i guess but this had like really beautiful beautiful writing like there's a line at the very end of the book that's like why should you swim so quickly to break your heart alongside mine which i really enjoyed it's like my favorite line of the whole book and it's like in the very last page i kind of thought that this would be about i guess more about saving animals and how the relationship between man and animal also is like a cycle i guess i expected more from that but i think it was just a metaphor for dad really and i don't know if i love that that much but either way i didn't feel that connected to it despite the beautiful writing and like the very interesting premise because like the language and like the whole community of whales all that is very interesting but i just don't know if it was enough well i know that it wasn't enough i mean that's not giving me three stars but yeah that's book two finished um i have not read a single page from Saw girls and right now i'm gonna go have dinner i'm gonna watch an episode or two of brooklyn 99 maybe i'm gonna have some ice cream let's live a little and then i guess i'm gonna sit down and actually read Saw girls so i will update you when there's things to update you on Oot. That's so cute. Yes, she's. Hi guys, so I felt like being 
comfy so i put this on even though it's the middle of july but anyway it is currently 11 p.m and i kind of decided to stop the vlog there because i know that i'm not gonna read any more until midnight because i need to edit the vlog so i just don't think that there's much point in like keeping this going past 11 p.m because it's just not gonna happen so i'm gonna give you my final reading update for today um i didn't read much i don't know why i think it's because i got home a little later than yesterday i don't know i could make up excuses but i don't know today just wasn't like a big reading day i don't know and i also i don't know i don't know i don't know i cannot tell you what happened but i got this far into sock hill girls which by the way looks like so little progress when you look at it but it's actually 85 pages into the book i just have like 360 pages left that's fine i should be able to do that over like the course of tonight after midnight and then like tomorrow hopefully and i will be able to finish book three on day three tune in to see if that happens um so far this book is very interesting we are switching between three characters three pops and i actually think that all of the characters have like their defining traits and personalities and i can tell whose chapter we're in which i always enjoy because i think multiple pops are tricky because then you kind of get lost in who's actually talking but every character in this has a certain backstory it's a diverse cast um i know one of the main characters is i don't know if she's half black or if she's black i'm not sure that has not been really discussed in detail yet but it seems like multiple girls are queer here and one of the girls might be ace like i went to this book knowing absolutely nothing but that's what i'm gathering from this book so far and there's like essentially they live on this island Two of them are newcomers, one has been there for like two years and one has just moved after her dad died. And they live on this island called Sock Hill and there are like girls who keep disappearing and no one knows why, no one can figure it out. Slash no one wants to figure it out, we don't know what the secret is. And yeah, it's unfolding, there's, I, there's also, some, it's not just a mystery thriller, there's also like a magical realism almost feel to it, it's kind of horror-y, which I'm enjoying. Um, I would say if you enjoy Rory Power, you would probably enjoy this, especially if you enjoyed Burn Our Bodies Down. For some reason, the two books with the writing kind of just like go together for me. But yeah, that's my review of this so far. I'm really enjoying it and it's very easy to read, so it shouldn't be that big a problem. So I'm kind of excited to continue this, also still in awe of this cover. Like I know I already talked about it in my TBR, but it's such a pretty cover and I love it deeply. To wrap up today, I read 84 pages of And the Ocean Was Our Sky and then I read 85 pages of Sock Hill Girls, which means that together, I did the math before filming this clip, you cannot judge me after yesterday, I read 169 pages, which is like almost half of what I read yesterday, but that then like to be fair, um, yesterday I read a middle grade, so you know that was easy reading that together with like yesterday's count means that so far i have finished two books and i have read 477 pages which put together isn't that bad so i'm not pissed about it but yeah there's this i'm gonna continue this in the next vlog tomorrow like i mentioned earlier um i'm gonna be doing like a little fun thing with the first book you touch thingy it involves origami if you want to check it out i'm gonna be doing that and i'm also gonna be doing the tag that reading rush posted and yeah i don't know i'm just gonna be vlogging this book and probably some other shenanigans you can look forward to that in tomorrow's vlog and thank you so much for tuning in for this vlog i am very happy that you tuned in um if you're new here subscribe that would be very awesome i will be forever grateful if you enjoyed this video give it a like i would appreciate it and leave a comment you know let's chat in a crotch <laughs> that sounds so wrong when you say it but you know what i mean all my social media is linked below if you want to check that out and keep me company and yeah that's all for me for now and in true alan replay fashion i am signing off